Welcome back. My name is Yellow Cookies, and today I'm playing on the new Snapshot 17 W06A. It's the 1.12 update, I'm pretty sure. It's where they added the new terracotta blocks and changed the texture of wool, which I'm really happy about because I'm a big builder and I use wool a ton, and the old texture was a little bit rugged. This new one's a bit nicer. They have also added new blocks. Um, the concrete blocks, the concrete powder blocks, and the terracotta blocks, which I think could be really useful in building. But that's not what this uh, video is about. This video is about how to make, or er, the basics of making a skeleton of something in Minecraft. So, say you're making like a map. Maybe it's like, I don't know, just say like a dinosaur map or like this could this could probably go well on the Twilight Forest mod. Um basically I I say start in the middle, like like where the chest is, so the rib cage. If you start in the rib cage area, then you'll get like then you'll know how to build off of that. So I'm looking at a picture here. It's a picture from Subnautica. It's um, in the river, the Lost River, and it's of this huge skeleton. And like, you know how a cat has ears? A skeleton doesn't have ears. So there's some parts you're gonna get rid of, and then there's some parts that you think that you would get rid of that are still here, like say fingernails. If you want to get that detailed, then you're gonna want to stick with fingernails and things like that. So yeah, so let's build a small monster. Um, we'll start off as, with his ribs. Um, his ribs will kind of be, er, I'm gonna build him quite small, but I'm sure some people can probably expand onto this. And then you're gonna kind of want to get um, the siding equivalent to the top. So what you see here like this, right? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, like that. And then add an extra one, just cause the rib cage is a little bit longer than it is, like, and it's a little bit longer across than it is in diameter. Is that the word I'm looking for here? I'm guessing, but yeah, if you know what I'm saying. It's a tiny bit, tad bit longer than, um, Usual things, that's wrong. I knew I got that right. Or wrong. So as you can see, here's the spine. The top is a little bit bigger than the bottom, which is what you were looking for in a situation like this. And then you're going, if you're building a monster as big as I am, you're gonna wanna go two out and then kinda do the same exact thing that I did for the other, or for the, your next rib cage. And then you're gonna want to do this about seven to eight times, and then the farther you get down, the smaller you're gonna want to make your ribs. So my recommendation, or I've I've learned from experience, because like, again I said I'm a map maker and um, making skeletons is like really I don't know, it's not the easiest, but I recommend going down one like so and then continuing on your skeleton like that because then it kind of like I don't want to say it it does it pushes um, everything downwards a little bit but it almost adds like that effect of having um, a rib cage that's like a real rib cage making it smaller the further you get down the line of rib cages um since you know your rib cage like needs to be bigger on your heart and your lungs because that needs more space but then when you get further down that needs a little bit less space so it kind of closes itself in so it's not taking so it's not like this big huge block in the middle of your chest if you know what i'm saying i don't know i'm just kind of rambling and um continue on here uh again i recommend going to and then <coughs> ow i recommend going to and then um closing in a little bit making them a little bit smaller 
So there's the first part of our rib cage. Now I recommend, or I would usually go about two more, like six, um, in this scenario, six ribs, um, which is what I'm gonna do here. Um, I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller and, or a little bit smaller on this side than they are on that side, and uh, yeah. On this side than they are on that side, but we're not on sides right now, we're just kind of like building in a straight line. my mouse laser thing. All right, so there's the first part of your rib cage. Now, usually a rib cage has like, it's like connected like that in between them, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because it looks a little bit better if it's a little bit more open and you can like go inside of the rib cage. And yeah, so, jeez, if that hair would get off the laser on my mouse. Um, so yeah, moving upwards, we are going to do the head. You're gonna wanna go a little bit further with this and add vertebrae. If you guys don't know what vertebrae is, it's, it's almost like a T-shape, but it's like a T-shape in bones. So that would be a vertebrae right there. And then you're going to want to like get your head shape, which I would say is a little bit difficult for some people. Um, I know it is for me to get a head shape that I like. Um, but you know, I can, I always come up with something. So I'm not gonna finish off the head just because it's a little bit big and it's rounded and I can't do rounded things very well. Um, but I can show you how it can be done if you kind of like do something like this and continue like continue doing like that. I'd probably put the eye right here if I was making a monster and then kind of slowly bring that in until it's like fully fully brought in like that and then bring this out like that and then for the tail if you're gonna do a tail these are a little bit difficult because tails are connected to like this part of the spine and right here is where your butt bone would be, but you kind of got to get a hip and a hip and then a butt bone and then you can get like the tail because the tail could kind of like, you know, you know what I'm saying. So you kind of need to make a little bit of a butt bone, which is a little bit difficult. Um, usually when I'm making skeletons, I kind of just do that as a butt bone because um, it works. And then I'll usually bring the tail down from here. But if you guys can figure out a better way to, um, like, bring a tail down into, like, a... Just down, period. That doesn't look great, but you obviously need to make it more of, like, a skeleton-y tail, so you probably have to add obviously these like stupid little things that most tails have. Oh gosh, I haven't played this game in a long time. So, yeah. That's kind of like how you'd want to make your tail. And then for the arms. For the arms, 
you need shoulder blades, and then you need hips. Um, shoulder blades, I usually make my shoulder blades almost kind of like this. Almost like that. Kind of really flat and like just kind of stupid looking. But it works. When you make the head, the head will kind of like form into the shoulder blade and it'll look a little bit better. But you know. So yeah, that's how I usually make skeletons. If you guys did enjoy this video, please hit a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorial videos on like this, um, please subscribe and tell me down in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, our goal is to get 50 subscribers. We are, f uh, we are at 48 subscribers and we are so close to getting 50 subscribers. It's half of 100. And then our next goal is obviously to get 100, which is going to be awesome. And um, if we hit 100, Equestrian K will show her, or will do a face reveal, which will be really awesome. And um, and we can post some of our skits that we've been making over time. Um, first, one of them being um, uh, people at Starbucks. Um, that's going to be one of our main skits that's gonna go out. It's really funny. We've showed it to all of our family members and it's so funny. And it's it's just a great, we just have a great time making skits and uh, we wanna show her face so, you know, we can obviously keep making them. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy and if you did, again, please hit that like button. And if you're new, please subscribe. And you'll be out. Peace.